Preparing your spreadsheet for Silk. When you import a spreadsheet into Silk, each row becomes a data card. A data card is how we refer to a single record, that is, a single data object inside of Silk. Data cards are made up of a few distinct elements. There's the title, here, and then a set of facts. These elements each have a direct counterpart within the spreadsheet. Like here, in the spreadsheet, the first column on the left contains what will become the titles of the data cards. And then each row represents a single animal, The facts of a data card are made up of two parts, the label and the value. As we can see in our original spreadsheet, the labels are here in the column headers and the corresponding facts are listed below. Before importing your spreadsheet into Silk, you must make sure that your first row always contains the labels for the facts, and this is very important. It's also very important to make sure that you don't have rows with duplicate titles. If, as in this example spreadsheet, we were to have two rows with a first cell of bear, it would result in two data cards with the same name, and that would get confusing quickly. It's important to make each data card title unique. Another great thing to note is that if your spreadsheet contains URLs that point to image files on the internet, during the import, Silk will automatically grab those images and attach them to your data cards. So. Just to quickly recap, during a Silk import, each row in your spreadsheet becomes a data card. The first column becomes the title for the data cards. All the other columns contain facts. The cells in the lower rows define the values, where the very top row defines the labels. For advanced importing tips and tricks, like using GeoData for mapping or dates for time series, follow below. Well, I hope that was helpful. If you have any trouble at all during your import, use the Get Help button at the bottom of your screen to connect with a Silk team member.